Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. Today I'm super excited because for the first time since I've started this uh, hobby uh, over a year ago, I finally decide, thanks to uh, UAV Future, I finally decide to build my first uh, five inch quad. So as you can see here, I have all the components that I need and today I'm gonna do a build and hopefully uh, it's going to be successful, I hope. Um, so I'm going to guide you through what I've got. So I have the uh, Transtech Frog Frame. Uh, this is Frog V2 Lite. Um, I have not opened this yet, so I don't know how difficult it's going to be to build. Hopefully I can manage to do it. Then here I've got the flight controller. Um, this is an F4 Omnibus uh, F4 PDB Betaflight F4 SD 3.2 and then some XT60 cable. This is the uh, receiver, XM receiver for the uh, FR Sky. Then I've got four of these uh, Raystar um, 30 amps ESCs. We got four of these. This is the Ishin TX5258 uh, FPV transmitter. This is the VTX. Then I've got this uh, kind of generic camera. That's this type here, kind of generic unbranded camera. Then we got, these are the four Samguk motors right here. So got four of these. And then I've got a couple of 4S 1300 milliamps 90C battery. I got two of them. Uh, some strap and then I've got uh, I have three boxes of these different colors these are the uh, GEP RC um, props uh, three bladed props so uh, let's start the build and obviously I'm gonna start with the frame all right let's uh, start with the frame here I'm gonna open the box and see what's the situation. So, okay. Here, here, and screws. Build manual, which that's about it, that's it. So let's build this. Oh, that's that's really thick carbon. All right, so I need these four long screws like that. These. It's gonna go in here. I wanna say this manual is not beginner friendly. screwed in, in here and it's gonna hold this like that but I guess this uh, needs to be done later all right so I've got a little bit of a problem here uh, unfortunately in this flight controller package there is no 
additional screw or spacer there is only this rubber rubber spaces here and the frame does not have additional spaces either like here is showing some this is just an example All, none of this it's included in the in the packaging so I don't have any other screws so the only thing I can do is to unscrew these and then put the uh, the rubber spaces put this back and screw it in that's the only thing I can do so I'm gonna do that now and now I'm gonna put the flight controllers in here and I'm gonna screw these on top I'm just checking that it's not actually touching the uh... okay so this is the front of the craft and this is the back of the craft all right so now that we've done that the next thing to do is to hook up the uh, the motors and the uh, ESC this is gonna go here and this is gonna go here so it's it's very close actually um, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this about here and then I'm gonna solder this in here so I'm gonna cut the cable about here it's too much but I'm gonna strip the wire okay now I'm gonna have to thin these motors uh, these wires and like uh, Stu suggested, I'm gonna use this. I call it like blue tick or something. Uh, this is called putty eraser. Um, I think it's the same stuff, but my solder skills are awful. And next I'm gonna have to put some here on the ESC. Okay. All right, so I've soldered the motor to the ESC and now I'm gonna have to put it here. But first I'm gonna have to insert one of these. Let me cut it about in the middle so I can use that and the ground here it's not needed apparently according to Stu you can snip this ground wire off put this guy in here over here Now I'm gonna have to put that with the Loctite in here. These are the screw that comes with it. I'm not sure what these tiny things are. Oh, that sucks. So apparently, these screws are so small they're like five millimeters or something so on a four millimeter frame only about one millimeter comes off the other side i wanted to have these pads but i can't because if i use these pads then i have no room for the screw all right well I guess that's it. I'll put it here. Okay. I hope this is going to work. Many hours later. 
All right, so I have soldered all the ESCs. I put the uh, shrink wrap and I pre-soldered uh, all the uh, uh, all the pads on the flight controller. So now it's time to attach these guys and uh, so the positives are inside and the negative the ground are outside and the small one is the signal I'm gonna have to do a little bit of cross here with the wires so I'm gonna cut these strip the little wire there add a little bit of solder and then the positive Five hours later. All right, so I have soldered all these connectors, and then I mean, it's not the prettiest job in the world, but hopefully uh, it's gonna work. So let's uh, now next. This is the BTX. For this, I'm gonna need these four cables. The red one, actually, the order is going to be first from the top is going to be the black one, then the red one is the five volts, and the yellow one is going to be the video. And then the green is going to be the smart audio that goes to this pin right here. All right, I have uh, soldered everything, all the motors, uh, the two camera connectors and the uh, XT60 for the battery now before I wrapped, wrap this up like these and uh, maybe I'm gonna put uh, some of this uh, liquid tape on the connections but before I do that I want to check if uh, overall uh, there is no shorts so before I plug the battery for the first time, I want to build a um, smoke stopper and I'm currently waiting for the last component to build that uh, should be arrived in uh, probably a few minutes or a few hours. But in the meantime, what I can do is to use my multimeter and check the continuity. So it's this, I don't know if you can see it, it's the icon that looks like a kind of a Wi-Fi uh, icon so what this does if I uh, if I connect as you can see it's it, it, it makes a sounds that means that there is uh, the current is flowing where it sh where it shouldn't basically so for example if I touch uh, two of the black uh, connection so the ground so this one and this one it sounds because uh, they um, there is continuity before between all the grounds so I can also check for example this and this and it sounds yes same as all the reds if I touch this red and this red okay yeah it sounds so if I touch these two and I hear the sounds, means that there's a short somewhere. Seems fine. Seems fine. But obviously this is not enough. 
uh, I definitely want to build the smoke stopper before I plug the uh, the current for the first time. The last thing I need to solder is the receiver and um, so is, this is a XM receiver for uh, FR Sky. So I use, I'm gonna use, there are these pins here, but I'm not gonna use them. I got uh, these three wires here. So uh, these are gonna go ground, five volts, and that's gonna be the uh, receiver itself. And they're gonna go uh, in here. So uh, let's do that, let's plug them in. So I have hooked up the receiver and uh, I hope I hooked it up correctly. Um, I guess we'll find out soon. And uh, now before I test this thing, I, I am going to build, like I mentioned before, I'm going to build a smoke stopper. So while I was uh, soldering the receiver, I've got the components that I needed. So I got this. 12 volts, uh, 21 watt uh, light bulb. These are car lights. Um, I've got some wire and I got a bunch of uh, XT60 connectors, male and female. So I'm gonna build one. Um, there's no need for me to record that because there are plenty of video that shows how to do it. So I'll see you when it's done. Many unbearable hours later. I made a, the smoke stopper and it is time to test if I've done everything correctly or not. So I'm going to plug this in. And I'm going to connect the battery. If this turn on, I'm going to have to immediately disconnect this because it means that there is a short somewhere on the board. So finger crossed and let's see. <sighs> Holy shit, I can't believe it. Holy shit, I can't believe it worked. I can't believe it worked. First try. First try. Yay. Okay, so now I am going to, uh, I'm gonna cover this with liquid electrical tape and then once that's settled, I'm gonna finish building the frame. All right, look at that. Seems like it's working. Uh, this is not turning on, so the electronics, I, I think you can see, if I cover, do a bit of shadow here, you can see it's blinking and the VTX is working. And the camera, as you can see, the camera is working fine. Uh, there is only one thing that I had to change. Uh, I'm going to show you. I had to move the, the voltage, the input power of the VTX. I had to move it from that pin there to the uh, VBAT pin because this VTX uh, input is from 7 volt to 24 and the, uh, that 5 volt pin obviously it's only 5 volts so it's not enough to power the VTX and it's working fine. One last thing I, I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bind the receiver and then I'm going to uh, finish up the, uh, to mount the rest of the frame. 2,000 years later. Okay guys, uh, here it is. I have finished it and I am very, very surprised that everything seems to work fine so far. So uh, as you can see, I've mounted a 
it took me a while to understand exactly the, how to make this uh, these plates here because uh, these cables are so tight together that uh, this these plates here the silver plates here I had a bit of trouble to uh, put them together I shrink wrapped the uh, ESC so and I put this zip tie here uh, for now I'm using this antenna here and I also shrink wrapped the, the receiver in here uh, the receiver is not the prettiest job I just stick it in there with some tape for now um, and I put the, the strap and yeah so everything seems fine and here it is the final product uh, with the uh, uh, props on and uh, put the battery like so so I am extremely extremely happy on how it turned out I, I was able to bind it to my Tyrannus with no problem uh, I can't wait to go outside and try it properly unfortunately today it's a rainy day so I cannot go outside but uh, um, as soon as I will be able to I will go outside and test it all right let's see how much it weights um, I'm gonna remove the battery because uh, it's not really fair okay so total weight is Wow, 300, it's 330 grams. So, uh, if you can see, there you go, 330 grams, 329 grams. It's uh, pretty light. Um, it's it, it feels great. Just for, uh, let's see, with this uh, 4S battery, how much is going to weight. This ups to 486 grams. So, about this is about 160 158 grams the battery alone so yeah that's uh that's amazing that looks great so last thing i want to do before uh going out and, and play with it when i have the chance last thing i want to do is to uh, plug this into beta flight as well as bl heli and show you what i've done uh, in terms of options and yeah let's do it so uh, here's in beta flight. So let's go ahead and connect. All right. So the first thing I've done was to calibrate the accelerometer because uh, it wasn't exactly uh, straight when I plugged it in. Then go ahead and show you what I did. So in the ports, uh, I had to add a serial RX on the UART6 because this is where I have the uh, uh, FR Sky receiver. Then under configuration, um, this part I left pretty much by default. I unchecked the barometer, I don't care about that. And I changed the minimum throttle to 1170 because the default was too slow. Uh, the, the motors were not arming, um, well, were not spinning when armed. And then I had to set the S bus because I'm using a uh, Tyrannis and then everything else it's pretty much default as you can see uh, power and battery I left um, actually I'm thinking that this is probably I'm gonna change this to something like that let's click save all right three it's fine then fail safe uh, everything is by default pit tuning I left the pits uh, by default for now because I, I couldn't fly it yet I just changed the rates to the ones that I use um, every with every other quad and I didn't I left all the filters by default uh, in the receiver I just said this is the, the one that I'm using nothing special here in the modes I set the arm to the aux one and then angle and rise on, on the uh, aux 2 actually so save that 
And yeah, I've done nothing here. Servos, motors, and the OSD I just used. I just everything was turned on. I just turned on F off everything and just set the name and uh, the few things that I uh, care about. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, um, if I go to motors, uh, motors four and motors one, they were spinning uh, on the opposite where they should. So what I've done, I'm gonna show you. Now in uh, BL Heli, in order to use BL Heli, I'm gonna have to plug a battery. So I'm gonna do that now. And then click connect. And now read setup. There you go. So ESC1 and ESC4, as you can see, it says reversed because I had to reverse the the motors that I've done and the the two and three are set to normal and then when you set that you just click right setup and that's it all right this is the end of the video um, the whole process took me pretty much seven hours or so it was a lot of work way more than I thought but I'm super happy that I didn't fry anything uh, because this was my very first build so I was very, very scared and worried that I would have ruined uh, uh, something, but fortunately it didn't happen. So uh, this is it. I will definitely uh, test it as soon as possible. Uh, in the meantime, thank you for watching and uh, you will see in the description below, you will have all the list of every component that I used. So if you want to try building one yourself, you know where to buy everything. So again, thank you for watching and I see you in the next video.